Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a user account, set a password for that account, I'm going to show you how to activate or deactivate the account, and finally I'm going to show you how to delete the account. And it's all going to be through the command prompt. I'm using Windows 7 right now, but this will work in XP, Vista 7 and 8. And I'm going to go to the start menu, and in the search box I'm going to type CMD. And I'm going to right click on the CMD link and click run as administrator and I'm going to begin showing you the help command so I'm going to type net space forward slash help the help command shows the syntax that you can use with the command and for this video we're going to be using the user command so I'm going to type net user space and once again forward slash help now I can view a list of all the different switches and options that I can use with the net user command and there's going to be quite a few of them that we're going to be using here. And I'm going to begin with the forward slash add command. The forward slash add command adds a user account to the user accounts database. So I'm going to type net user forward slash add and then the name of the new user. I'm going to hit enter. Next I'm going to type net user and hit enter. This shows the user accounts that are on the computer, and here's John. So next I need to give John's account a password. So I'm going to type net user, the name of the user, and then the password. And for this video I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to type L and hit enter. It says the command completed successfully. So now we have a user account, the user's name John, and John's password is L. I'm going to show you one other way to set a password. I'm going to type net user, the username, and an asterisk. And then I'm going to hit enter. It asks me to type a password for the user, so I'm going to type L, hit enter. I'm going to confirm by typing L again and hitting enter. So this is a lot more secure way of assigning a password. Next, I want to view the user's profile, so I'm going to type net user and the username, and I'm going to hit enter. This gives a more detailed view of the profile and we're going to be adding to this. So now we're going to add the full name of John. So I'm going to type net user John forward slash full name colon and without a space type in the full name and then hit enter. Once again I'm going to look at John's profile. that John's full name is John Doe. Now I'm going to add a comment to the account. So I'm going to type net user John forward slash comment colon and then you would type your comment and no spaces in the comment either. We're going to look at the profile again. And now the comment is hello John. Now we're going to add the user's comment. So I'm going to type net user John forward slash user comment, all one word, colon, and then the message. Once again, we're going to look at the profile. Now under user's comment, there's a comment hello. John's account right now is active. I'm going to deactivate it. So I'm going to type net user, the username, forward slash active, colon, no. I'm going to hit enter. And one thing I do want to mention is Windows is not case sensitive, so you don't have to worry about capitalization. If you notice, most of the time I'm not capitalizing John's name. So we're going to look at the profile again. Now under account active it says no, so the account is no longer active. It's better to deactivate the account rather than to delete it. If you delete it, all the information is gone. And right now it says the account never expires, so we're going to give John an expiration date. I'm going to type net user, the username, forward slash expires, colon, and then the date. Once again, look at the profile. 
and now under count expires it gives the date that I had entered. You can also set when the password expires and when the password is changeable, if a password is required, and if the user may change the password. Next I'm going to type CLS to clear the screen and now I'm going to reactivate John's account. So I'm going to type net user, the username, forward slash active, colon, yes. Once again look at the profile. Now it says John's account is active and now I'm going to delete John's account. So I'm going to type net user, username, space, forward slash, DEL, enter. And now I'm going to check the user accounts and make sure John has been deleted. So I'm going to type net user and hit enter. And John is no longer on the user accounts list. And that's how you create a user account, set a password for the account, set an expiration date for the password, activate or deactivate the account, and finally delete the account. All through the command prompt in Windows. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.